The Stranger, Virgil Earp, and Wade Garrett are a few of the famous characters played by the actor Sam Elliott. If you recognize those names from the films The Big Lebowski, Tombstone, and Roadhouse, you're certainly familiar with the man. Maybe it's his world-class mustache, his smooth jaw voice, or his calm and tranquil demeanor. But there's something about Sam Elliott that makes him an icon. In almost every role, Elliot plays some variation of a cowboy. He's no stranger to the hats, horses, and boots that accompany the Western genre. And growing up, Sam always had an affinity for these types of movies. He idolized some of the greatest screen cowboys of all time. Keep watching to discover Sam Elliott's favorite Western actors. We'll also take a look at some other interesting bits of trivia about Elliot. Actors that inspired Elliot's career. In almost any creative profession, up-and-comers emulate and develop their craft from the masters in the business. That's exactly how Sam Elliott crafted his lifelong career as a Westerner. Let's see who he emulated his work after. Gary Cooper The first actor Sam Elliott learned to like was Gary Cooper. Cooper was a two-time Oscar-winning actor in the 40s and 50s. His most notable work is likely High Noon. Not only did Cooper bring home the Best Actor Academy Award, but the film is also commonly cited among the best westerns of all time. High Noon was selected by the Library of Congress as one of the films to be preserved in the National Film Registry. In the film, Cooper plays Marshal Will Kane, a lawman who has to face down a group of gunmen. It's easy to see why Elliot holds Cooper in such high regard. Cooper's character in High Noon has a strong moral compass and is committed to a code of honor. These types of traits are recurring in the roles Elliot has played in his career. John Wayne Hey, Pilgrim. We all know that favorite turn of phrase from the great cowboy John Wayne. What we don't know is if that's what Wayne said when he first met Sam Elliot. Elliot had the chance to meet one of his hero actors. It was on the set of The Shootist. The film follows the story of an aging gunfighter who's looking to spend his remaining days living a quiet, dignified life. The role was perfect for Wayne, who was at the end of his career. Filming in 1976, Elliot approached Wayne looking for an autograph on a series of John Ford paintings. Elliot claimed Wayne had no idea who he was. It was early in Elliot's career, and he didn't have many credits. However, Wayne did realize he was an aspiring actor and gave him some tips. Elliot said his collection of films includes quite a few John Wayne films. Among his favorite are The Searchers and Red River. Luckily, they met when they did because The Shootist was Wayne's final movie. Jimmy Stewart Elliot also notes Jimmy Stewart as having an impact on him. Stewart was in such westerns as The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance and How the West Was Won. Like Cooper, Elliot praises the types of roles Stewart played. He said the two actors always seemed to bring integrity to their parts. Such a profound effect did these western stars have on him, they shaped his career. Because of these types of films, Elliot decided to pursue and prioritize roles in these genres versus other jobs with better pay. Today, Elliot claims this behavior allows him to hold his head high regardless his own movies. However, his favorite Western actors aren't the only interesting thing about Sam Elliott. Before we move on, if you're enjoying this video, take a second to like it and subscribe to the Facts First page. The Coen brothers kept Elliott talking. In 1998, when the Coen brothers were working on their classic comedy, The Big Lebowski, they needed an excellent voice to act as the storyteller for the film. They turned to the laconic, smooth draw of Sam Elliott. His character is called The Stranger, and he narrates the adventure of the film's protagonist, The Dude. Towards the end of the movie, The Dude and The Stranger have a chance encounter. For this particular scene, the Coen brothers shot a great deal of takes. After a certain point, Elliott started to get irritated. Wondering where he was going wrong, he begged the directors to tell him exactly what they wanted. As it turned out, Elliott had nailed the scene a while before. The Coen brothers just liked hearing the sound of his voice. They told him this after the 15th take. Memorable voice work. The Coen brothers weren't the only ones who appreciated Elliot's distinct voice. The actor has had a number of memorable voice acting gigs. Ram used Elliot's smooth draw in a commercial to show off their truck line. In the ad, the actor climbs out of one of the vehicles and dramatically insists, this is only the beginning. Another voice role was for Coors Brewing. To help sell their beer, Born in the Rockies, this Colorado-based company decided it had to be Elliot's Western cowboy cadence. However, his most famous voice work is possibly for the Smokey the Bear forest fire awareness campaign.
Oddly enough, early in his career, Elliot was criticized for his slow-talking demeanor. He was urged by many people in the film industry to try to speed up his voice and enunciate his words. They suggested this would help him land more roles. He tried this for a spell, but ultimately gave up on it. This was fortunate, as he effectively built his career on his unique voice. Elliot is also known for his mustache. His billowing white mustache is present in almost every one of his movie roles. His stash is often commented on, but rarely emulated. While Elliot has donned the mustache most of his career, he claims he doesn't understand the fascination people have with it. While he was working on the set of A Star Is Born, someone showed Elliot a poll for the best movie mustache. The contest came down to Sam Elliott versus Tom Selleck. Though he was intrigued, he thought it was utterly bizarre. He refrained from casting his vote on the matter. He bounced around a lot of TV series. Although he's carefully considered his movie and TV roles in his career, early on, Elliot didn't have the luxury of picking and choosing. Breaking into the industry, he was cast in a small role in many TV series. Hawaii Five-0, Mission Impossible, and Gunsmoke were some of the roles. After bouncing around in bit parts, Elliot almost had his break. In 1974, he was tapped by CBS to play the lead role in an Evil Knievel series. The star role in a popular CBS series would have been massive. Unfortunately, after filming the pilot, the network decided not to put the show into production. Indeed, Elliot picked up a lot of parts before he became a recognizable face. The actor has 102 film and TV credits to his name. Sam Elliott's Big Three Roles if you ask anyone about a Sam Elliott movie, chances are they'll come up with one of the three movies, The Big Lebowski, Roadhouse, and Tombstone. These three are considered by fans, and Elliott himself, to be the big three of his career. Elliott doesn't think these are necessarily his best acting roles. In fact, he was recently nominated for an Oscar for A Star Is Born. Instead, he suggests that these three are so memorable because they're played all the time. He says he can't get away from his big three. Though all three movies are a different genre, Elliot has a very memorable role in each. What's more, Elliot plays some form of cowboy in each one. The Western actors he looked up to when he was younger would be proud. So what do you think? What's Elliot's most iconic role? Where does his mustache stack up with the rest of Hollywood? Let us know in the comments below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.